Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic Frontiers again. I'm going to try more Battle Rush mode and hopefully it'll go well. Yesterday kind of, I kind of was a little bit sad honestly, but I mean hey, I can always try again. Let's do this. No. I know how to... I know a good pattern for these guys now. Using the camera helps with my, like, angle. Yeah, like that. Oh yeah, don't, don't kill my, don't kill Sonic. I learned that lesson last time too. I swear, when he uses that move, he sounds like Link, because he's like, Yah! He sounds like Twilight Princess Link or something. Oh, um, right, right. Eh, screw it, try again. Nice! I have to pause just to, like, get a sense of what fight I'm doing. Because I always forget, sometimes, what I'm doing next. Okay. These guys. Doing the regular punches is faster against them. Oh, these guys. Uh, I don't know. Just homing attack them and then parry? Don't really know any other way faster to beat them. Oh, squid. Okay, squid and then um, the little freaking... I don't know. Tumbleweed looking enemy. Hey! Okay, whatever. You know what? That's fine. I can deal with that. He took off like a couple of seconds there, but so what? And he took off like two and a half seconds. Okay, tumbleweed looking enemy. Go! Nice. Oh, this guy. Tower. Tower, and then I think it's a Sura after. Yeah. Two. Okay, that's not quite how I wanted to approach that, but you know what? It's fine. Damn it. Okay, fine, fine. Do your knockoff thing where I can't get back up for some reason. It's fine. Okay, okay. That time I get back up. I could have saved like 10 seconds by not falling off, but it's, it's alright. I'm at Giganno. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I actually kind of get it now. You're supposed to go through the blue things the whole time, not just run up him like an idiot. What was I thinking? I like that move. Hmm. 
Boom. I swear, it takes forever. Wait, whoa, I saw Luke Cam. Oh, no, 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 ah. Oh. Honestly, Giganto was one of the most unpredictable bosses. But, I still beat him. Nice. Okay, next lap. Four minutes. So far, so decent. Let's see how we do on the other guys. Ah, damn it. This again? Shoot. Okay. That's fine. And let me just plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Like that one commercial, I don't know. There. Right, shit, right, really? Ah, oh, damn it. It's fine. I swear, I am, is it because I'm pressing O too fast? That has to... Ow. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. So, small mishaps. But, like, nothing to ruin the run. So far. As long as I remain... Uh, pretty good on time. I think I'm gonna make it. Cause my problem isn't beating the bosses fast enough. Okay, actually, sometimes it is, but... I don't know. It's just not making those minor mistakes that set off the run. Cause I know the speed tricks. I just have to execute everything well. I know what I have to do. It's just doing it, it's kind of hard. Oh, crap, he's making me go down again. You and your RNG. Now, oh, this guy. Damn it. Stop. Not what I wanted to do, but actually that worked out. Oh, this guy. No. Can I actually beat him right this time? Oh crap! Okay, that's kinda cool. 
What's the next one? Oh. Okay. Sumo. I'm hit or miss with this guy. But, hey. Let's see what we can do. Also, I gotta remember to get rings sometimes. Because not grabbing rings ruined the whole run last time. It's the one thing I was not prepared for, you know? Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't even mean to kill him there. I mean, I wanted to kill him, but that's not when I was gonna kill him. I'm losing so many rings. Okay. Do that cool thing. Boom. Boom. Who's next? Oh, you. Wyvern's coming up. Okay, Strider, I forgot about you. Well, he's gonna do that thing first, so... Good opportunity to get some rings. Oh, crap, I'm really low on rings, actually. I only have half of them. Well, not really low, but, like... I should pick up more when I can. Because it really won't use that much time. The other times, I didn't have to even consider getting rings. But this is a, like, full-on stamina battle here. Like, endurance match. I gotta get rings when I can. Oh, here, Wyvern. Good opportunity. There's no reason not to... Oh crap. Okay, I have a bit more rings. And we're gonna get even more... <coughs> from this fight. Because, as I learned... On the wiki, actually. I didn't even think about it, but... This is the only boss fight that actively supplies the rings during the fight. So that's interesting to know. During the fight and during this like build up sequence. Rings are important. Gotta get them. I can't let a, ma a huge disaster happen later. I need some insurance here. So I can take the chip damage that I usually, you know, cheat through for these fights. Because I'm always used to having enough rings to survive. Like, I never usually just die, fl flat out die on a fight like that. I usually have the rings. There's a problem is this making stupid mistakes that make the fight last longer. But now it's a matter of having enough rings. As I could tell by last time.
been waiting for the longest time. I can't believe it's free. Okay. Wyburn is weak as hell, bro. But he is still fun. Easy as the bosses are, they're fun. These bosses, anyway. They do it all, and some of the other bosses can be hit or miss. The mid bosses, I call them. Bro, the stomp was enough to just kill him. Oh, here we go. Boom. Oh yeah, better not let my finger slip and hit the wrong button like the last time, too. Bro, the stomp. The stomp of doom here. You're lost in your mind. Who knows we can find our way? I'll do whatever it will take. Who takes the count? Oh, another one of these. And I think that's it. Or not. It's fine. I can do this. Mash thing. Okay. What time we got here? Excellent. Okay. Minute and a half. Of extra time. Wait. Okay. Now, it's basically the victory lap, other than some of the Last World bosses. Really, the only boss that actively gave me a bunch of trouble in this world was Knight. Everything else is just like... Yeah, it's fine, really. And Knight isn't even a problem, it's just the button mashing I didn't know what to do about. Oh, these guys. Um, no. I'm not going to make a mistake again, like I did last time. Although, these aren't as uh, threatening as the, the, uh, those other guys uh, I took a while on, so... Like, I actually needed to do the side loop for the one last group of enemies. Oh, God, Thanos. Dead. Hey, forget. Oh, it's just this. Yo! If I do it fast enough, I don't have to wait for their electric. Oh, this guy. Bird thing. Hey, do your laser. Bro, the, the, the circle thing wasn't spawning for a second. Uh, next, uh, oh, spider guy. Yeah, he is easy. could do the side loop there and try to circle around him, but like, the results, the results for that just isn't consistent for me. 
Because I some usually go, end up going too fast and then overshooting everything if I'm just doing a really fast silo. In conjunction with, like, the boost. Crap, I need more wings. Yeah, and that wasn't enough still. Oh, this guy, easy. Oh yeah, don't want to die by accident again. Heck, I'll use this as an opportunity to get rings. I know he takes goddamn forever to come out. I've never made that mistake on this fight. I just got careless, man. No. It's Jover. It's fine. I could do a couple bosses slightly faster. Although the real problem is that it's not here, bro. As long as I play at my A-game, I have good feelings. Crap, where's the other guy? That's how it's done.
Oh, hey there, Griffin Phoenix. Boom. Trying to get a good time on this battle rush. But it's pretty crazy. How are you doing? Bro, just stomp him the hell to death. Holy crap, I surpassed the barrier, bro. I don't know how I did it. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you're feeling alright. Bro, I just, like... He didn't even have a chance to do his freaking button mashing QTE that time. I think my, my freaking attacks were just that much better that time. Use that super cool spin attack thing. That's a pro tip. Okay, next. Aerith Island. Can we do it? I don't know, actually. Wait, and I'm not trying to even do that attack. Was that? I was just trying to do the, side, the mini side loop. Bro. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Didn't want to waste the time on that guy. Or do that. How is he doing that? Okay, is it because I'm pressing X and O button? Whatever. Okay, oh, oh, this guy. And then after that, I think it's those like enemies with the shields and then sumo maybe let's go give me your control stick from Shimmers? I'm not sure what you meant by that. Uh, maybe this boss? I don't know. Anyway. Ah, crap. This again. Okay, well, at least that's consistent now. I don't know why the down prompts didn't... kept not working when I first did this world, but like... Oh, wow. I didn't know you could even do that. I keep forgetting how much damage the freaking stomp does. Oh yeah. Yeah, those enemies. Wait, what the... I can't see. Shield to stop. The break, Sonic. That's the only thing I can think of to not accidentally do some random move when I'm trying to boost around, but also I just punch them. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. There. Ah. Uh, I see. That makes sense. Whenever I see that guy, I just think of the freaking Mulduga boss from Breath of the Wild because me and Tan were an enemy in a game that's an open world that's kind of like Breath of the Wild. The comparison's easy to make. So, oh, damn it. Okay, um, shoot. Okay, that did it. Sumo. Uh, yeah. Okay, he's dead. Hopefully, I can keep the momentum going here. No Sonic puns intended, but... Last time, it took me a lot of tries just to try to get to, uh, um, what's it called? Oranos Islands bosses, but I think I got 
Cliff Strats now for like everything. They do consistently enough. Pretty difficult to consistently maintain, but as long as I have the tricks, I can pull it off. Get rings. I never. What I learned from last time, I don't know when I'll run out of rings, because it's really not something I was prepared to uh, base, because I normally don't run out of rings on any of the boss rushes, r rushes except for this one, because you have to fight all of them. And I happened to mess up enough times, and then not having rings was really bad, so just good to pick them up with a slide loop when I can, because... I mean, it only takes a second. Okay. Strider must perish. There. Oh yeah, Wyvern. Cool boss. Uh, okay. What? Okay, this is fine. Minor setback. Sonic, what the hell are you doing? Okay. Honestly, I don't even know why I tried to go on that thing. It doesn't even make a difference. I didn't even know. I thought the one path was faster. Okay. It's fine. We got this. Okay, I'm almost at 999. Um, there's no reason for me to grind right now. I'm good now. True. Yeah, I massively... That happened last time when I was on a rando. So I was doing pretty much fine once I had the good... Like, good strats for everything. Until, like, I forgot what to do against, like, the one group of enemies. I didn't do the side loop. Like, the, the non-mini ones. Because those enemies, I didn't know, you can't even attack with the mini side loop. I kept losing rings, and I was confused. Why well, I wasn't hurting them? And then I ended up wasting a bunch of time, and then I had no rings, so I failed basically all the other bosses, which I normally would be pretty easily and fine. So, lesson learned. Try to stay calm. Evaluate the situation. Do your best. Oh wow, I have uh, the infinite boost somehow. Okay. Yeah. I was so confident I was gonna beat it that time too. But I think I got some match strides right now, so. Bruh, his wing, his scale thing is clipping through the loop. I've never seen that happen. Bro, why, why why is he dragging this out so much? He normally does not do that. Yeah, whatever. What I learned is the boot, the freaking stomp cheeses this guy so much. I used to call him Wyvern for some reason. I just, I never heard that word pronounced that much, so that's just how I read it. But I think it's Wyvern, I don't know. Tomato tomato, right? It's a fire and you never die. Oh crap, okay. 
It's fine. I was just trying to pick up some rings. But I got greedy. That's okay. That wasted, like, I don't know, 10 seconds. I could still beat this guy really fast, so it's fine. Ah, uh, there. Oh, here we go. QTE. Boom. Bro. Okay. This is it. Bun mash soon. We gotta get ready for that. Okay. And then it'll have me do another button mash, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Another one of these. And then another button mash. Boom. The button mash on this boss is a lot easier than Giganos and Knights. I feel like they give you more time and it doesn't feel like the bar doesn't push fast enough. Wait a minute. Maybe that's why I kept failing Knight. Because I remembered yesterday, something that would happen- Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, okay. Something that would happen is, you would just fail the QTE if you managed to hit the wrong freaking button while you're mashing one button. Like, my finger kept slipping. Oh, okay. Okay, damn it. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Squid's gonna waste my time. But yeah, I would, like, have a stick, freaking sticky fingers and, like, hit the wrong button, and then the QG would fail. I'm thinking that's what would, that's what kept happening when I was fighting, oh, okay. Oh wait, no, this isn't the enemies that I had trouble with, but I should still do the side loop. I normally just, when I, when I see the groups of these guys, I just try to do the side loop. Like a really big one. Um... Well, basically, in this mode, you're just fighting all the bosses in the game, pretty much. So, I'm just trying to, like, beat it in a good time so I can get the S rank. Because I just want that little badge you get on the title screen. I just think that's cool. And it's a good challenge. Okay, wait. Do a stomp here. Uh, okay, okay, it's fine. There we go. But I'd say there's like maybe 25 bosses. I don't. I don't really know the actual exact number. Actually, never even thought about it. Really, there's like about eight encounters for each like world. So, and I've practiced on this a lot. So, um. Pretty, wait, what the hell? Why is he not... Okay, whatever. Now he's gonna let me get on. Pretty well adjusted to it. Other than a couple parts where I, I always manage to screw up here and there, but it's all good. Oh, this guy. Easy boss, but it's fun. I've grown, it's grown on me. I used to kind of forget it even existed, but now, you know, it, it's, it's alright. After some repetition with it in the boss rush.
Let's go! Nice reference to the hit Sega game again. Yeah. Now I fight this guy, and then I'll fight um Knight again. Bro, Sonic got the moves. Okay. So last time, on the last attempt that I just had prior to this one, I accidentally jumped off the rail. This is like a boss I never make stupid mistakes and fail at, but performance anxiety be damned. I just made a dumb mistake. It's fine though, I'm gonna just beat him up. After this guy, there's like, eight more bosses. And then if all goes well, then that'll be it. But, I guess we'll see. Hopefully, I can muster it in me. And right all the wrongs that happened yesterday on the run. So I'm trying to, like, not do all the mistakes I made. So I can just beat. Okay. Night. Nice. Not a guy I really have problems with. Now that I know what to do with him on, but at first he was kind of troublesome. Especially that button masher. Hey. Oh, it got kind of cinematic there. Okay, that's fine. Bro, Sonic's like kind of janky. Let me show you what it's like. Honestly, I feel like this section's kind of a waste of time. I should just I should have just hit his face instead of hitting the shield, but whatever. I guess I can go through this part. I still have some wiggle room because of the extra minute I gained from doing freaking uh Whatchamacallit, Kronos Island, like, really fast. Honestly, Knight's, Knight is one of my favorite bosses design wise he looks pretty cool and the fight is pretty fun especially this part where you deflect the shield i think it's pretty neat because it kind of takes what you learned with the uh sumo fight with the like angling to hit the boss thing except here it's just like you're using a weapon to hit him so that's neat There. Okay. Now, to interrupt this fight, to do this, it's a necessary evil. I don't know if it's necessarily fair, but for whatever reason, my square button just doesn't work well for that button, that specific button masher. So, I don't know if the controller is just faulty or what, but I always have trouble. With this particular part, um, where is it again? Crap, I forget where to. How do I remap? Um, controllers accessibility. Oh, here. There. L1. Square. Okay. 
Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm mashing this button. It's impossible to hit another button by mistake. <laughs> yeah. There. Guaranteed. Do not mess up. And that's it. So, I'm gonna have to unmap it again. So, hold up. Blah, 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 blah. There. Back to normal. And then I got one more world. Full of pretty easy bosses. Including the last one is really easy. I mean, I forgot he Psylooks the lane and then freaking chops Sonic in half. And, sorry, I'm mean, sorry. I mean, chops the boss in half with that. I know that part. I just forgot he Psylooks. Boom. Boom. Also, I looked at, I, I found out, apparently this is a reference to Goemon, I mean, Ishikawa Goemon from Lupin, but I don't know. I don't really watch Lupin the third, other than, I've seen the, the, the one CG movie, which I forget the name of, but, oh wow, yeah, that is not too bad so far. I have some wiggle room, I just gotta make sure I don't make a dumb mistake. Oh. Uh, speak it. Oh, wait. No. I remember now. There's a bumper here. And then I can get to his head that way. Gotta make sure I don't do anything stupid. Because I have a, a bit of extra time and leeway here to... Uh, oh! Th these guys. These are the ones that tripped me up. I won't let it happen again. Okay. But, um... Crap, I'm having trouble hitting them. Okay. It's fine. Wiggle room, as I say. Yo, that was sick. Oh, crap. Uh... Normally, it takes me like 10 seconds to beat them, but it's fine. True. I just don't like it because, like, I know I'm wasting time when I could be perfecting my time here. Oh, yeah, I died on this boss like 10 billion times because I had no rings and I'm used to just speeding through on the rails, just taking all the pot shots. Because, like, I'm just used to having freaking health. Normally, this boss is just no problem, but. That time, he was just annoying for me. I'm privileged. I don't know what it's like to not have rings. Also, if you manage to beat this super boss rush thing, you uh, get uh, super hard mode or something, and you can play the game where if you frick... You can play the game on a difficulty where if you frickin' get hit once, you just die instantly. So, I don't think I'm gonna play that, actually. I mean, maybe I'll have the skills after I freaking beat all these bosses so fast, but, like, I don't know if I can beat them without getting hit. That's a, that's another story. Maybe I'll try it some other time, but... Oh, wait, right. This isn't a thing I slide loop. Okay, just parry them. Dogs must perish. Damn it. Okay. I don't know why. The boss rush just had a tendency to tilt me the wrong way. Because, like, 
I wasn't used to the combat of this game, even after beating it. I think this helped me understand a little bit better. At least in terms of, like, using the right moves to beat the bosses really fast. I thought that was kind of fun. Wait, he just missed. Whatever. Wait, 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 what's the point of him slowing me down? Of the game slowing down like that? I can't even hit him. Crap. Okay, see what I mean? Wasting time. Whatever. It's fine. I have wiggle room. That's fair. I can vouch because I played Kingdom Hearts 1 on Proud Mode. I did not do well with it. I got really annoyed with a lot of bosses, but, you know, eventually I, I always had, I found the strategy to get through it, then after a lot of trial and error, I figured it out most of the bosses. And after a bit, I just got over leveled and just killed everything, so. That was fun. And I was, like, near the end game, like, I managed to just kill Maleficent instantly when I thought she would be hard. And, like, is them this? Wait, that, no, that's Kingdom Hearts 2. The answer was, like, no problem. And I was like, bruh, after all that, I get an easy boss. I guess I was too strong. And also, currently, right now, I'm on a, doing a Kingdom Hearts 2 critical stream, but the game honestly ended up not as hard as I thought it was. So, I'm a little slightly disappointed. I mean, slightly underwhelmed, but it's also whatever. The game is still fun. Like, I, I didn't really have much trouble with any of the bosses compared to a crowd mode, anyway. Boom, he's dead. Okay, and I think I only have Supreme, right? Oh, wait, no. This freaking guy. He kind of sucks. Yeah, I was thinking of just doing straight up level 1 critical. I know that sounds like something out of my expertise. Like, I, I used to be just never play the proud modes in any Kingdom Hearts game. But after liking Borscht by Sleep so much, and wanting to get, like, the true ending for that game, because, like, on that game you get an actual freaking playable, like, a whole playable level that you can't do on anything else. Like, it isn't really a huge playable level or anything, but you get something a little bit extra. So, like, other than just a cutscene, I can look out. That's, like, valuable game experience that I couldn't have played otherwise. So, I did- I beat prayer mode on that game. Honestly, it's kind of hard. Even on the standard difficulty. But, I had fun with Fruit by Sleep. Yeah, the optional bosses are pretty hard. I just have- I don't usually bother with optional stuff. So I guess that's where my problem lies. I don't- Like, in Kingdom Hearts 1, I only beat Kurt Zisa and the Phantom, and then I didn't really do any of the other optional bosses. I mean, I beat the Colosseum, but I didn't do, like, the... Frickin' whatchamacallit, the Ice Titan, Sephiroth, frickin' Ansem, I mean, Xemnas. Unknown, I guess you could also call him. Because, like, I don't know, those just seem a little bit too crazy for me. But, the hard bosses, that were pretty hard, but kind of, you know, doable when you get the strat. They were fun. I don't know, I'm so my bias to Kingdom Hearts 1 because I, I just, it feels better to me. In a lot of ways, in the, at least in terms of, like, atmosphere and stuff. But, like, I'm not knocking Kingdom Hearts 2. Because I like that game a lot. I just think Kingdom Hearts 2 is, like, really easy. If you're good enough at Kingdom Hearts. So, like, I'm just like, meh. Where's the challenge? Everyone's saying this is a hard game. And it's really just the optional bosses. I'm like, bruh. But, yeah. Hopefully the Kingdom Hearts 2 Critical playthrough goes well. I haven't done it in a while because I was taking a break to play um, Sonic Frontiers. Uh, the DLC stuff. Because, you know, I'm I'm a sucker for, like, challenge 
arcade -y gauntlet run things. This speedrun mode is actually pretty cool. Oh, wait. No, wait, what? Did I just... Okay, I thought I went in, like, invisible for a second. No, I don't want to fight the boss. Right now, anyway. Eh, screw it. I'm close enough to him. I went invisible! Oh, wait, no, it's just the camera. Hey, Stein, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even really try Einstein, to be fair. I just kind of like... I was like, yeah, he seems too hard for me. Because I'm not necessarily a player that is the best with blocking, and I never really have to block. Really, I'm just kind of the person that rushes through things. And like, just hits as much as I possible, getting like really aggressive and risky. So that just doesn't drive well for me on a boss where I have to use the block to actually hit him. Not good at timing it, but that's fine. I know my limitations sometimes, and that's okay. Maybe if I feel more up to it later, I, I can try that stuff, because, like, I mean, right now I'm just thinking I'll do straight up another Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough eventually later, where I do try level 1. I don't know if I can do level 1, but... I mean, I can gauging my skill by playing the regular critical, and so far it's good. Yes! Finally, I did it! And I had an extra three minutes! Woohoo! Extreme difficulty! Can only be chosen when starting a new game. At this level, Sonic's stats will no longer increase, and the enemies will be substantially stronger. They don't even tell you they one-hit kill you. The difficulty level cannot be changed mid the game. Yo, I did it! Well, um... I mean, I don't want to just end the stream there, because... I'm not going to start a new playthrough, but I have another idea for something I can do in the meantime. I'm going to say screw it. I have some extra time. I'm just going to play all the game's levels. Thank you, man. That was pretty hard, but... Hey, I managed to do it only on the second attempt. Or so. Today. Compared to yesterday, where I was, like, doing four different attempts. Of getting through a bunch of the bosses. Oh, yeah. Um, what was I doing? I'm gonna use the newly acquired, um... Super speed I get for cyberspace level. Oh, no. I'm not... I'm not gonna fight you, bro. No. Cause like once you beat the cyberspace time trial thing, you can get you basically you can use your overworld speed in the levels, which is really cool. Nice reward for doing all that crazy challenges. All those crazy challenges. Um I forget how to switch oh, that's that's how. I'm silly. Okay. Let's see how fast he goes. Oh yeah, you know what? If even if I wanted to do extreme difficulty, um, and try the new fast speed thing in cyberspace, I couldn't because I forgot Sonic's stats can't upgrade. Oh wait. Um, it's an option I have to enable there. Okay, let's see how fast he is now. Holy crap, okay, he's really fast. Can I still get an S, though? I should try to just get all the S's again with this speed boost I have. Wait, I can't turn as well, though. 
I don't know. Maybe they did that to keep the freaking control, like, balanced or something. I don't know. I don't... It's not really like that on the overworld. Yo, that new boost is really sick, though. got pinged, hold up, on Discord anyway, um, crap, oh, okay, freaking mood I bought, I got a, got, claim character, don't know if you ever heard of it, yes, it's like a gotcha thing, you just claim a bunch of stuff from video games, and like shows and anime or whatever, when you like roll or something. It's it's fun. I like to get the characters from stuff I like, like Sonic and Mario and whatever. King Hearts. All that jazz. Holy crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sonic get get okay. Oh, Sonic's so fast. I have a lot of Discord experience. Bro, he's so fast. I love this. Bro, he's so fast. Oh, yeah. You know, something I should try in hard mode eventually? Persona. That'd be kind of fun. I've only ever done medium on the game because I felt like the game was at least decently challenging enough. Like, I didn't think it was too hard, but also it still gave me a fair enough challenge. Like, it felt balanced. Like, my... I don't, I don't mind e games that are easy. It's just sometimes I'm just, like, underwhelmed, you know? I want a little bit more meat to my game. Because that makes it more memorable, I guess. I don't know. Wait, why is it not letting me go into the love? I think I gotta kill this guy first, because he's, like, in the way. Now I can go in there, right? Yeah, that was because of him. Boom, 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 boom. Hopefully, the next the, the the next set of DLC will be even more like awesome. Wait, is Sonic slower? Where's the cyberspace boost? Is it because it's a 2D level? I don't know. You should have it right now, right? 
Does it rather enable a power bird face power bird with power bird to remain disabled in arcade mode? I don't know. I mean, it's on. I guess it just feels different in the 2D level. It feels nice to just casually play these levels after the freaking hell torture that is playing them all consecutively and trying to get S rings and great times, like, consistently for, like, everything. So it all adds up together. Now I can just play the levels normally. I, I'm at peace. I don't have to do any of this ever again. I mean, I could, but I'm, I'm good. Set on Sonic Frontiers, man. I did everything pre-DLC of the other stuff that I wanted to do, so. One four. Boom. Ah, damn. Easy level. That's fair. That's... Maybe it just isn't set in 2D. I don't know. Yeah. That is a good point. So, maybe it only works in 3D levels? I don't know. I have to ask my Sonic friends. As is, the speed is already kind of problematic in 3D because... Bro, I almost crossed that whole gap. That was kind of cool. Because I can't really turn. Why can't I turn? That's not a problem in the overworld, I swear. They must have done something with the controls to balance it. I don't know. Yo, I'm so fast! It's nice, it's, nice talk, it's nice talking to you, though. You're pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Boom. could just walk to these, but, you know, I already did a lot of walking with my freaking trying to collect the um, the music token things. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. Oh. Bruh, how did I not make the connection? Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Darn, I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> I'm kind of a dummy. Don't mind me. Anyway, let's get a uh, boost in here. Oh man, this level kept messing me up for some reason. On the uh, what you might call it, speed, the cyberspace challenge. But, I know the strats now, so all these levels should be easy enough to just S rank first try. Plus, I'm not strappled with the pressure of doing it all in a row. No. I caught myself there. I can just play them at my leisure. Woo! Bruh. Bro moment. Did it. Easy. Easy game. 
Also, if you're wondering whose character on my shirt is, she's from Persona 4. She's pretty cool. Chie Sachinaka. The best one. Other than, like, Risei, I guess. I, I like Risei, too, now, so... Um. Boom, let's go. Hold up a second. Maybe there's like a nerf to his speed, but he still gets some boot. Oh no, I took the wrong route. I should still get an S. I know I can beat it with the rank. Crap, I keep forgetting that uh, tr X is a try again. Right? Oh, wait, no, that's triangle. I'm gonna sit down. It's been a hot second here. Okay. Chilling in the gamer chair. Holy crap, the speed. It doesn't seem like much at first, but on some of these levels, it's insane. Bro, Sonic's just freaking wrecking it. Is the game, like, lagging? I feel like it's lagging a bit. Bro, this will work. It's so worth it. The levels are fun to replay. They're even funner to replay now.
True. Um, okay, next thing. Wow, I don't remember this song sounding like this. I guess I just didn't really play the world for that long when that, that version of the song did play. Okay, according to one of my friends, um, there's a speedy, a speed cop in the 2D levels, like Sonic 1 or something. So that does make sense, though I kind of just want to play them all anyway, because I forget which ones are 2D and which ones are 3D. I mean, they're just called freaking 2 1, 2 2, 2 3, how am I supposed to know which ones are which? And the 2D levels can be fun anyway. Okay, um... Favorite Sonic game? Well, I'd say I have Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic CD, and Sonic 3 very high up for me. Also Sonic Mania. But yeah, those three right there peak. Um, I also like... Sonic... Oh, oh, wait, actually, yeah, Sonic Frontiers is in the top four. Forgot about that. That's the game I'm playing right now, what am I saying? Despite some problems it has, I, I, I like this one a lot, and it reminds me of the older games while also having stuff from, like, the Booth games, so... It feels like a good mix of old and new. Plus, stuff I like already, like Breath of the Wild. So, like... Um, crap, where is Choo Choo? Oh. I'm high, I'm high, um, pretty much higher, like, priority to, like, the more exploration-based games, I feel. Like, I like 3D Mario games more than the 2D ones. I like Kingdom Hearts 1 and Birth by Sleep more than 2 because they just have more exploration and atmosphere than, like, 2. Two is fun, it's just, it doesn't have the same things that I like from games. That's all. Basically just preference. But, I still like Kingdom Hearts 2. I just wish I had, like, better level design and, like, stuff like, little stuff like that. That goes a long way.
That's fair. Unleashed, I I played a little bit on the Wii and never got far because I was kind of a dumb kid that would get stuck in a lot of games and just move on if... Damn it. And move on if I didn't, like, do good enough. But I did enjoy it from what I played. I want to give it a, another chance if it ever, like, gets another release. You could play it on Xbox if you have Xbox Series X, but I don't. Because I have a PlayStation 5. But that is okay. Bro, stop it, Sonic. I like this song a lot. Bro, the booth. Yeah, the Wii version wasn't bad, it just wasn't nearly as good. For kid me, it was fine enough. I don't know, for some games, even as a kid, I just, I knew something, there was some stuff I didn't like about them. The same stuff I don't really like now. Like, Sonic Adventure 2, I like that game a lot, it's really good. I just don't think it compares to Sonic Adventure 1, because, like... The Sonic and Shadow stuff is really good, but, like, Knuckles, why does he have a nerf, you know, the nerfed radar is just stupid, and the levels can be kind of long, and also, uh, Tails' levels suck. The mech levels kind of suck, but Tails especially suck. Eggmans are pretty quality, honestly. I don't, I don't really have as much a problem with them, but the controls could be better. Yeah, that's fair. It does, it does cut out half the game. Not denying that. For a kid that only had a Wii and just wanted to play the, the game, it's not really a problem. But now, if you want to get a good version of Sonic Unleashed, then yeah, get the HD one. Now we know better not to get crappier versions of games. Okay. Also, I know this wasn't part of the discussion, but, you know what, screw it. Favorite, um, other media versions of Sonic? I like, um, Archie Sonic. I read a lot of the comics, and, um... What else? I liked Sad I Am a lot from what I watched of it the first time recently. Uh, wow, the camera kind of just was weird there. Um, Sonic X, Sonic X is alright, I don't know, I like, I like Sonic X, it just isn't as interesting as the other stuff to me, it's okay, it has some cool stuff, and I'll admit it, I only watched the dub, so I wouldn't know how good the sub is, I, a lot of people gas up the sub, like, I'm sure it's pretty good, but the problems with the show would still be kind of there for me, like, it's more slice of lifey, which is fine. It's just like I don't know. Feels more like average kid show ish. Sonic Underground sucks. I'm sorry to all Sonic Underground fans, but I didn't really like it. Most of it. Some of the episodes were okay, but otherwise I kind of hated it. Although I'll I will admit I liked Manic. I thought he was funny. Sonia was kind of annoying, but like I don't hate her. She's fine, I guess. The characters, I don't really hate. It's just, like, the plot just felt, like, so phoned in and just, like, boring. I don't know. Some of the songs were alright, but, like, I don't know. Most of them were kind of bad, actually. Um, what else? Sonic Boom, I haven't watched it yet. I hear it's funny. I haven't gotten to it. Um, I, d I do want to watch it. Eventually. Let's see, what else? The OVA. I like that a lot. Um, Sonic Prime. That's a... That was, it was pretty cool so far. I like it a lot. There's some stuff I could expand upon with the newer episodes, but we'll just have to see how I go this. Also, um, I haven't really read IDW Sonic yet. I want to. I hear a lot of good things. There's a lot of cool characters I like from it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet.
Maybe he is faster, I, I don't know. Why do I get this feeling of deja vu? Oh wait, I've never taken this path in my life. Why am I going this way? It's fine. Just a little slower than the path I normally take. B. I don't really care. Here? Okay, um, what else am I doing? Exit training. But, yeah, I guess next time I stream, I'm gonna go back to Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, Critical, so that'll be exciting. Nothing left to do with this game. 2-6, 2-5, For now, anyway. Until they make another cool update. But where is 2-6? 2-7. Oh. It's right there. This level I had some problems with- Oh my god! The speed! Yep, got them all uh, before the DLC came out. Most of them I kind of just got as I was playing the game, other than the one that I wanted me to get. All the memory tokens, because I happened to miss one while, um... Frickin', whatchamacallit. One on uh, Kronos Island. I, I didn't know I missed one with Amy. But, yeah. Everything I kind of just did as I play the game. Because, I don't know. I, I normally just try to complete as much as I can with the game while I'm playing it. Just to get that satisfaction with the game, man. Like, like I got this game. I got to put a lot of time into it. I got to give all that I care enough about its worth. While I'm playing it the first time. Because I don't usually replay games that often, unless it's been like a really long time. Bruh, I don't care. Unless it's been like a really long time, and I want to gain in, like a new perspective on something. Or like something like that. Or I'm doing it for like the sake of a marathon, which, I mean, I also do a lot sometimes. Especially on the stream channel, like, I beat all the freaking old 2D Mario games, except for the handheld ones, and, um, Mario 64, that was fun. Um, what else? Actually, I haven't done that many marathons on my stream channel yet, other than a couple castle- I did Castlevania Symphony Night and Rondo back-to-back, -back. that was fun. Although, simply in the night, I did uh, not notably hold off a lot because other games kept getting in the way. Um, yeah, I, I still gotta do more marathons on the channel. It's something I wanna- I, it's something I like doing, it's just I haven't really- Oh yeah, one time I was just playing a bunch of crappy Back to the Future games, that was a funny stream. It was like a one-off thing. I was just playing all the Back to the Future games, including the Telltale one, which I 
Got a bit into, but I didn't beat yet for the stream. I have played and beat the game before, and it's really good. I like Back to the Future a lot. Good franchise, but bad video games, other than two of them. Although, the Super Nintendo game and one had weird level design later. Like, I don't know. Some of those levels kind of suck. It's not a great game, but it's a lot better than that other stuff. I'll take it. Like, I thought the sprites were pretty fun. Yeah. Do -do. Yeah, I think this boost does affect him here, just not really that much. There's still a speed cap in place, definitely. He does feel faster, and that I think about it. Because this level, notably, I hate it. He had a really crappy part. And he just, he feels faster than the other times I played this level, so... Bro, Sonic, get up there. Now, also, I'm not normally someone that cares about getting trophy, all the trophies on a game, but this is one I kind of just did, because I like Sonic Frontiers that much. It is a lot of fun for me. That's usually when I'll go uh, and 100% something. Kingdom Hearts, notably, I never cared about, like, doing synthesis grinding or really doing that many super bosses or extra stuff, but I do the stuff that I care enough about, like, the Dalmatians is fun. Getting the Dalmatians is fun once you get, like, the abilities to look for in the levels later. I used a guide for most of them, but, like, still, it was fun. Go, Sonic, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, I got all the trophies on Sonic Origins as well. Okay. D. I don't care. <laughs> Lol. Go, Sonic. Okay, next world. There's a lot of 2D levels on this one. And a lot of just 2D in general on this one. Oh, bro, I forgot I had the Easter egg things. Fair enough. If you're not as big on Kingdom Hearts 1, you might not like it as much, but I can tolerate the janky, the kind of jankiness. I like the more grounded combat, even though, like, there isn't as many, like, crazy combos. And I don't mind the camera being close up to Sora, because, like, it, mil it really makes the battle feel like it has a sense of, like, scale to it. That the other games don't really... You don't really feel as much. Which is not, like, a big complaint, but it does... Be I don't really mind the camera being close up. Like, that's not something I really ever thought about. It's just kind of a thing. Though I will say, Kingdom Hearts 1 had the best lock-on system, though. In terms of, like, switching targets. I don't know why the other games have this, like, weird thing going on. Like, why, why do you have to use the right stick to switch targets in Kingdom Hearts 2? That's weird. I, don't, I hardly even switch targets in that game. Because I don't care to, um, for the control. Oops. Okay, go. Okay. 
Bruh. That's crazy. Honestly, I remember doing some of the gummy missions on my latest Cage one playthrough, because I never really tried them. They were alright. They kind of make the gummy ship stuff more fun to go through, honestly, because at least you have something to shoot for. No pun intended. Like, I don't know. I thought getting the scores was kind of fun. Because I had to make a good ship and then make sure it gets enough points. As for blueprints, I don't really know about how you get those. They kind of just show up. As far as I'm concerned. I wonder when the next season of Sonic Prime is coming. Okay, wait. I'm going to get back up. Right, it's always that spike. I can only imagine. Yeah, he definitely is kind of faster. Oh. A second. Okay, I just gotta beat this level, and then, um, I'll do more of these levels later on another stream. As a little bonus episode. Because I gotta go after this one. Alright. Well, it was really fun having you there. It's nice to see ya. Anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow and check out the Twitter and Discord server. Link is on the sidebar of the channel. Post uh, a lot of updates to my latest streams and uh, you can chat and stuff. I also have a YouTube channel where I save all my Twitch VODs. Um, I got a lot of Mario stuff, uh, Sonic, Kingdom Hearts. Platoon and a lot more. So if that sounds pretty cool, feel free to check it out. Anyway, take care. Uh, have yourselves a great day and take care, everybody. Yeah, good timing. Okay.